हेलो और वन आई एम वसंत सो बेसिकली एम ए फुल स्टैक इंजीनियर सो टुडे वी आर हियर टू डिस्कस अबाउट समथिंग इंटरेस्टिंग अबाउट दिस प्रोडक्ट कॉल्ड मैसेज सेंट्रल मैसेज सेंट्रल इज ए सी पैस सोल्यूशन बेसिकली इट इज ए कम्युनिकेशन प्लेटफॉर्म एज ए सर्विस विच ऑफर्स ओ टी पी एस एम एस ए पी आईज और नॉर्मल एस एम एस ए पी आईज और इवन व्हाट्सएप बिजनेस ए पी आईज Uh, so all those APIs are very simple and very developer friendly. Being very developer friendly, these APIs are very easy to integrate. And I will so, uh, now let us see. So today we are going to discuss about the message centrals OTP SMS APIs. So let's get started into the video. So as you can see on my screen. So as you can see on my screen, head over to this website message central dot com. and over this you can find all the information on what services message central provides us so you can create an account for free so you can click on try for free button and then you can easily create an account in just two steps you just give your normal full name email and you can create your own password and you can authenticate with your mobile number so basically i have created my account i am going to click on login here so i am going to login with my credentials so i have logged in using my credentials so this is the dashboard which we get uh, so firstly uh, i would recommend you to click on getting started so basically you can try the message central platform without even integrating their apis into code so click on getting started click on send otp yeah let me enter the otp now yeah as you can see the verification status is successful so basically uh, the uh, you can also uh, monitor the analytics uh, via their dashboard so you can so you can always monitor your uh, uh, otp uh, failure rate success rates via their uh, dashboard and anal analytics basically they offer pay as you go model you can always uh, top up your balance so using their uh, using your cred credits uh, your otp smss will be sent so now let us get into how we can use their sms otp apis right so basically i'm going to click on developer docs and click on verify api documentation so in this documentation now let us see how can we send an otp to a mobile number okay so user might enter any mobile number in your any of your mobile app or website or what of the product you are building so basically what we have to do is only three steps so to successfully send send an otp and validate an otp we all need to do is just only three simple steps so first step is going to be first you need to uh, generate a authentication token in order to authenticate your send otp and validate otp api so you we have this generate token api this generate token api will give us the uh, token which we can use in the headers of send otp and valid validate otp apis so i'll give you an walk through and how can we implement this three apis and successfully authenticate a user so yeah so this is the base url so in the generate token api you can see uh they have clearly mentioned all the all the fields uh some fields are mandatory some are not mandatory but these are the fields which we can pass to this generate token api and they are also mentioning this gener uh this token will automatically expire in 7 days and that is one thing you have to note in your implementation so yeah so when you try to hit this generate token api uh with the given params like in our in this generate token api we need to pass the customer id and this customer id you can get it from uh this uh, click on getting started you can find the customer id from this you can copy here and basically you can even use it uh, in calling the generate token api and the next required param is the base 64 encrypted password so take your uh, message central account password okay and go to this website base 64 encode just your password here and you will get the uh, let's say my password is 1234 which is not uh, and on clicking on encode you will get the encoded version of your password and that encoded version you need to pass as the key of the um, generate token api so don't worry we will see uh this 
implementation via code so we are going to see all this api implementation in node.js as you might already know uh, for coming to this video so, and then the second step would be to hit the send otp apis so if you clearly see this is the send otp request payload this is a post call we need to pass in the customer id which we get it from the message central dashboard we need to pass in the country code could be if it is india it could be in and you can you should pass the mobile number to which number you want to send the otp and you should also send the flow type currently we will be using sms flow type only but then the third step would be the verify validate otp response so after the otp after the otp is sent to a particular phone number then what you have to do the final step is to validate the otp entered by the user now let's see in why in node.js how can we implement this okay so uh, this is the simple simple project structure i have this source directory okay i have this app.js uh, this app.js is running on port 3000 and basically it, it is having this uh, group routes group routes which starts with slash auth and i'm going to click on auth routes so this is a auth route express router and i'm handling two apis send otp and verify otp these two apis uh, handlers are in uh, controllers directory so now we are clear with app.js and routes.js uh, go to controllers basically i'm using node cache package to store the auth token in the cache and i'm using this request package to make the api calls and I'm using this utils package to make use of the promise. Yeah, so basically let's uh, get into the details. So firstly, what we have to do, we need to, we need to generate the token. So for this, I have written this function called get auth token. So basically what we are doing is if there is no auth token present in our cache, then we are going to make an API call, which which they have uh, mentioned in their documentation in the message central documentation they have clearly given us what options exactly we need to pass like this is a get api call and this is the exact url this api base url is a constant yeah this api base url is a constant which is the api base url and this is the api path endpoint and customer id you will you can show it from in your environment variables and key is something which I told you, you can, this should be your A64 encoded password. So you can take that API, call it and in the response body, you will get something called token. So take the token from your response body and store it in your cache. So I am going to store this token uh, for um, 7 days as they mentioned in the documentation. It will automatically expire. So after you get the auth token, there is this send OTP API implementation. If you can clearly see, we are expecting a phone number as the in the request body API, whoever calls this send OTP API. If you can see in the routes.js, there is this send OTP API call, which is a post. In this post API body, we are expecting phone number and we are getting the auth token from this method which we previously saw and then we are making a simple api call by passing the customer id and phone number and that's all you otp will be sent to that particular phone number that simple it is to send an otp using the message central apis so yeah uh, if it is we are handling the error states as well here and the last step is going to be the verify otp api so once the otp has been sent in the send otp api response you will be getting a verification id and you will also be uh, getting some other data as well so you you are going to pick up that verification id and you are going to take the phone number from your user interface and you are also going to get the otp from your ui so you are going to take the verification id phone number otp and your auth token obviously and then you are going to make an api call to validate otp from the message central uh, service it basically it's a get call where you are going to pass the phone number verification id from send otp response customer id from your message central dashboard and user entered otp so that api will validate if the otp is valid or not if it is valid it is going to send 200 along with a 
successful response now let us see and verify these apis are working fine in the postman i'm going to run this server using nodemon okay the server is running on port 3000 let me open postman here i am going to uh, call the localhost slash auth slash send otp so in the it is a post call basically in the body i'm going to pass the phone number okay this api will internally call the message central send otp apis so now let me click on send uh, so yeah as you can see we have got a 200 response and this is the api response from message uh, central send otp api so if you can clearly watch we are getting this verification id as the uh, response from send otp with this i must have received an otp on my mobile number now i have received the otp now i am going to enter the otp which i have received in the request body of verify otp api which is being sent to validate otp message central api along with this otp i have to take the verification id which i have received in the send otp response and pass it to the validate otp or verify otp in our case otp now if i click on send you can see i am getting a 200 ok response with the verification completed uh, status today i hope you liked this message central apis and how easy it was to integrate into your uh, projects